Hey guys, we wanted to check in here. This is David's first week of classes. Well, we had our first week of classes also at home. We were all pretty sick. Um, I'm actually still not feeling that great. The kids are, are recovering well, but that definitely made the week a bit harder. I was really nervous about school starting and it went great. Week one in the books for both of us. <laughs> that was a week, wait, let's try it. Yeah! <laughs> I wanted to just highlight one resource that has really affected us this week spiritually, and that is um, Donald Whitney's book, Spiritual Disciplines for the Christian Life. So I'm taking a class, Discipleship 101, with the Seminary Wives Institute, and David is taking... Spiritual disciplines. Oh, spiritual disciplines. <laughs> Personal spiritual disciplines with Donald Whitney. Yeah. With the man himself. So uh, we were we're both reading through the book, which is kind of cool, and working through the material together. And it's really like deeply affecting us. I have only read the first half of the first chapter, and I already feel like my world is rocked. So and you know, it's like coming alongside what God was already doing and working in this area of prayer. The, the disciplines are external, but it's the fruit. Uh, produced through a life of godliness that, that we want. Um, readiness and an excitement about the disciplines in order to draw near to Christ is the evidence of a heart um, that's been indwelt by the Holy Spirit. And if the Holy Spirit is living in us, then we should want to be holy. Reinvigorating, re just exciting us about um, pursuing holiness together as a family, individually. Like that very first chapter, it talks about discipline without direction is drudgery. And when I think about the spiritual disciplines, there are times when it can just feel like drudgery, like reading your Bible and praying and fasting and the disciplines that God's given us to relate to Him. Like, why does this feel like drudgery? And when there's that direction um, towards godliness, like realizing the fruit that can be born in your life um, and that that's not like legalism or pride to want to be godly. Um, it's actually like, that's why Christ made us to be like him and that's uh, when he saved us he said like go be like me it's taking things that we always knew to be true and when you look at them in a little bit different perspective and you have just a different frame of reference it's like it comes alive in a fresh way and there's something really unique about us being able to step away from the busyness of ministry i've thought a couple times this week wow this is why pastor takes sabbaticals like even reevaluating like our own personal walks with the lord when you're in it, it's just like everything can be this close and it's just brought so much perspective. This week has been full of refreshment. I feel like the first couple weeks were like overwhelm. Well, it's like the first few weeks were very disorienting and I think this is kind of like a reorienting. It's still kind of overwhelming, but uh, it's kind of resetting a direction. We, should, we didn't mention about like being a church. Oh yeah! <laughs> So in the next few weeks, life is probably going to start picking up. We'll have more um, activities in the week, during the week, community groups and things like that. And we did. We found a church. We prayed a lot about it and trusted God to take that step of faith to join 9th and L, which is a great church. It's less than 10 minutes from our house. They have really strong community life and solid teaching. Thank you for your prayers. Winner. Seminary Wives Institute. Uh, begins for me next week and we'll continue with homeschooling. My mom comes to visit on Tuesday. I'm so excited! Uh, so yeah, I guess just as life picks up again and can starts getting busy again, just I guess prayer that we'd continue to protect um, our personal times with the Lord. We'd continue to protect our personal times for one another and for our family to connect with God, to be trained and to be equipped to come back. Thanks guys for watching us and keeping updated in our lives and praying for us. Talk to you soon. Bye. First day of school. MJ is still sleeping because everyone's so sick. Guess what? What? When Donald was sleeping, he was snoring. Ah. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Did I schedule after? every single hour of the day? Yes. <laughs> so it's going to be completely different. I remember we'll see how it actually goes. I've never had like such a smooth day. I felt like I was ahead of the kids instead of always trying to play catch up and figure out what to do next. And I don't know, this is such a huge answer to prayer. Like guys, this is... To me, today is like a miracle. So, 
Read the word. Tomorrow, Daddy starts his first day of class. He's been on campus all day studying, preparing, and we're gonna go to Rainbow Blossom. Rainbow Blossom? A health food store here. So we'll see what we can get. Just getting here to campus uh, for my first day of classes on campus at Southern. Melinda and I have been praying for years that God would allow us to come and study here. And for a long time, we just didn't see any way that this would be possible. But this day is, is a testimony to the riches of God's um, kindness and grace and his abundance that he can provide for us in this way. So I'm, I'm like super excited, a little bit nervous. It's been uh, eight years since I last like sat in a class. So here we go, day one of classes at Southern. Uh, it's gonna be a great day. Just a couple of thoughts coming out of uh, my first day of classes on campus. Incredibly overwhelming. Just the amount of information to try to consume, uh, especially with my Philippians Greek exegesis class, about all the things you have to accomplish in a year. And it's just like, they call it syllabus shock. Studying on campus, there's a lot more vulnerability than being in an online class. Class where you're on campus, you're kind of exposed uh, to your other classmates, to your professor, if you get called on in class and you don't know what you're talking about. It's also really good because it, it stretches you and exposes you and your weaknesses are exposed in the way that you're not uh, online. It's going to be really good for me and I'm looking forward to it. Um, but I think from all of that put together, it, it, I'm just like a little bit overwhelmed. I, I was sitting down and doing some homework and I just kind of stepped outside for a sec because I just like, I couldn't, I, I was just too much. I just had to step away and just take a deep breath, pray for a second, like, okay, God, you're going to sustain me. You're going to, I'm going to get through this because <laughs> there's just so much to try to take in at once. We are headed to the Southern Exchange as a little reward for finishing all of our studies by 2 p.m. So kind of Four? a fun little reward. Oh, how many yep. we want? Four. Four of whatever you want. Because I just great that I really want it. Well, let's see if it's still here. So basically my other tennis shoes, they went all the way down to the strip and it was huge and I was thinking, I think I need a couple of things. Just got back from the exchange and it was a success. We needed shoes for the kids, um, Mary's tennis shoes. This is literally shoes. the state that they were in. <laughs> so it's such an answer to prayer. Yeah. God is so good, isn't he? And I also got some really good snowshoes, so in the snow I'll get some really good shoes. Yeah, we got some snow boots, and what's on your head? On this hat. I got Pretty this cute. I wanted to record this because we just signed up to join a church in Louisville, and I'm really excited. David's exhausted because he's been in lectures for eight hours, so he's just watching me on the other side of the camera. <laughs> It's actually 10 hours. Maybe he'll make a guest appearance <laughs> before ten, this video is done. 10 hours. 10 hours of lecture. He's exhausted. I just wanted to let you guys know because you've been praying for us. This is the highlight of my day, okay? I've been home all day. Homeschooling four kids and feeding them food and washing dishes. That, that's, been, that's been my day. So this is a highlight for me.